Hello and welcome back to my channel ladies and gentlemen today we're building this lovely kit from Zvezda this is the MiG-31 Soviet interceptor fighter and you can see it's licensed by MiG and it is a 70 second scale model and that ladies and gentlemen is the lovely box art I already did an unboxing of this kit a few weeks back when I started off with this kit if you want to have a look at that I'll leave a link to that in the description box below if you like this content please consider subscribing to my channel so let's begin with the build this is a very high quality kit from Zvezda there weren't many issues as far as uh, the fit of the model was concerned so it's pretty much an out-of-box build just open the box crack open the uh, plastic bag and go ahead with the build so here you can see me painting the Soviet cockpit green I am using Fevicryl teal blue color for this particular Soviet cockpit green I had already painted up the pilots uh, off-camera in this uh, Soviet dark blue overall and here you can see how detailed and beautiful that cockpit looks once the pilots are inside and this is a look at the uh, interiors of the instrument panel these are all decals but very very nicely printed the thing that I really appreciate about this kit is that most of the parts fit together with a click you hear the first one right now and this was the norm in most of the kit assembly and here you can see me assembling the rest of the half of the fuselage there you go so that was the uh, click in the uh, outer portion of the air intake and you could hear how beautifully it clicked together now here I am fixing the lower part of the uh, wing structure and hear how beautifully the uh, the parts click together so there you go you heard that click and look at how beautiful tight and snug the lower part of the wing fixes onto the fuselage now here I am fixing the upper part of the wing and the fuselage and you hear the clicks right now So you could see how beautifully the kit fits together and it was just a matter of fixing the parts together and gluing them and now you can see that I've actually primed it in uh, a black primer and I am now painting the first coat of the Russian air superiority grey on the entire aircraft surface. If there is a gauge for the pleasure factor of a particular kit then I think this MiG-31 kit lives 100% up to its expectations in that it has just enough parts to make the build enjoyable and not too complicated. Unlike the Su-30 kits, they were extremely complicated and needed a lot of time and attention to be devoted. This kit practically took me just about 10 hours in total to assemble and build together. The painting was nearly done after about three to four thin coats of the air superiority grey and then I moved on to painting the anti-glare black panels on the upper and lower surfaces of the nose. and then I began detailing the dielectrics on the leading edges of the wings the horizontal stabilizers and the vertical stabilizers I did all of this with a very thin brush and finally it was time to unmask the canopy and go ahead with a gloss coat and the decals the decals were in pretty good register and I used my standard procedure of applying the decals which was simply putting watered down PVA glue, sliding the decals in place, adjusting with a toothpick and 
than wiping off the excess water with a cotton Q-tip. And here it is, easy as pie, the MiG-31 from the Russian Air Force. And you can see that those missiles are also painted up and these are the final beauty shots of an exceptionally good fitting kit. Nice big size of this 72nd scale kit. Definitely recommended for beginners because you can complete the entire assembly of the kit in about 10 hours of time and the more time you have at your hand the better so with that i come to an end of this video on the mig 31 please comment like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you again in the next video thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen bye bye take care